Welcome back, Fat Boys. Today we got Karen and Karina with us, and we're gonna go head up to a local bike night up in Jupiter. So let's just go have some fun, and we're on our way. Let's let the little talking box tell us where to go. Crawling speed. I'm just gonna take it a nice little bit chill relaxed because Karina's still kind of a new rider. So we're gonna take it a little bit slower, allow her to be more comfortable, and just let her enjoy the ride. She has been riding 10 months now, and this is her first motorcycle, an old 883. We are heading up to Jupiter because they are having a bike night up there, and it is put on by one of our local motorcycle shops in the area. It is put on by LOF Motorsports. And the guy Reggie, who owns the shop, loves that. He builds custom bikes. He does great work. He's worked on Karen's bikes a couple of times. And it's always really important to go out to these things because you always want to support your local motorcycle shop because they are there when Amazon isn't. Because they will pick up the phone and Amazon won't. And they will be there for you when you're on the side of the road and you need some help getting your motorcycle worked on. So support them, do go to them for your work and go to them for your parts because having that connectivity really pays off in the long run. Let's tell a little bit of a story. I ended up going over to Tampa this weekend and I ended up meeting Shade Tree Surgeon. I ended up meeting Josh and I hung out with him at his bar a little bit. We had a good talk. He's a really cool dude, really love him. And then right afterwards, I went online and I purchased a raffle ticket for his Road King Kong to help support the things that he is also believing in because there's a good message in the things that he is supporting with raffling that bike off. He is currently raffling that bike off to raise money for the foundation Forgotten Angels. Forgotten Angels is a non-for-profit organization that helps bring children that have aged out of the foster care system and and help teach them life skills so that way they're not just thrown out onto the street with the few belongings that they have in a trash bag and actually make them productive members of society and help them be real adults they teach them things that they need to know in the real life and help them find jobs and, and all these other cool things that sometimes even kids that don't that aren't in the foster care system don't learn and are already in the real world and so i just wanted to show a little bit of my appreciation towards all of that by actually purchasing a raffle ticket it's only a 25 dollar raffle ticket and i just wanted and it's one way to show a little bit of my appreciation and also put in a little bit of odds at, at my chance of winning 131 cubic inches of road king the road king kong we're starting to get on to i-95 now i'm gonna catch y'all when we get off because it can get a little bit noisy a few inches later we finally get off i-95 it feels so good though having all that cold i don't want to say cold but not boiling your skin off hot air moving through the vest and through the jeans so they get a green light i'm gonna go and turn karen's bike off <clears throat> anyone else but does anyone else get like a little bit excited get that little bit of tingly feeling inside them when they're going to a new bike night going to see new people they haven't seen all kinds of things i get the little bit of tingly inside get the butterflies excited for it here we go pulling on up with no one here <laughs> see if we can find another bike. motorcycle let's see i see one bike two bikes It looks like we're early, even though it started like a long time ago. Okay, cool. Let's see what happens. Only beginning. Let's go see what's in store. Yeah, it's okay. We'll just get some something to drink in the meantime and wait for more bikes to show up. After eating, coming back out to this and more bikes have finally showed up. Look at that. Let's go take a look around. I actually love that. That 250 Rebel, that's really cool. Oh, 
Oh, that's a Isn't it? beautiful. Wow, belt-driven pan head, Harley Davidson, Springer front end, 300 rear tire. <laughs> What year is it? Wow. God, it looks good <laughs> for 37 years. Is this yours, Reggie? No, this is not mine. This no. Is gentleman's. I did not ride today, but mine you, is similar. Oh, mine is you didn't similar. ride to your own bike night. Bro, man, yeah. I saw Rain, man. You got your bone, bro. I had to advertise, so I brought the movie. So, we were watching it all day, and then it said it wasn't going to rain. Oh, so we took that opportunity. <laughs> Super nice bike night. Super chill, meeting a whole bunch of new people. Enjoying seeing a lot of sport bikes especially. But older sport bikes, which is kind of cool. Like this. Let's see, that's not even what this is. Oh, wow! It's an old 636. This looks like a first gen. Shut it, Jetta. All right, so we are going to be ending this video a little bit early because we're trying to now beat the massive rainstorm that's all of a sudden decided to show up. Welcome to South Florida. And so, just to recap things, don't forget to support your local bike shop because thank you it does for huge difference to you as a motorcyclist and don't forget to help out others too so make sure you go ahead and hit that link go i will go ahead and put that link to where you can buy raffle to help support forgotten angels and all of them and shade tree army if you like this video make sure you go and hit a, hit that thumbs up button and make sure you go and hit that subscribe button and make sure you ring that bell notification i'll catch you all in the next one peace